Hello, welcome back. It's Michael Culling here again. And in the last episode, I promised you that we would now draw a graph of our uh, maximum infected people um, in our simulation. Um, so let's get on and actually do that now. The way we can draw a graph um, in our Greenford application is to just draw on the background image of the world. Remember here, we have these person objects, every person um, has an image and um, the world itself here has a background image that is also an image and we can just draw onto that image and because that image belongs to the world we go to the world class and so we have our application that currently just displays the number here we have display info and we are um, displaying the number of infected and the maximum number of infected so here we want to also now plot a graph. So the graph that we want to plot is the number of infected people, this one here, that value. So I just make myself again a method where I say plot value of the number infected. And plot value is a private method here um, that I will now write. Plot value and I'm getting here an int which is the value that I want to actually plot as a graph. So the question is how do I plot a value as a graph? That I can draw on the background of the world I said. So first there is a get background method that gives me um, the background of the world. The background of the world is a is an image, a Greenfoot image. So on the image, if I look at the methods, there are a whole number of methods that I have to draw onto that image. There is, for example, a draw line method. Let's use that draw line met method. It has four parameters, an x and y1, and an x and y2, and it will draw a line, obviously, from the first point to the second point. So I can draw a short line that I will make vertical, a vertical line um, at the value um, that I want to plot. So let's say I have um, an x coordinate, an x offset. Oops, what am I doing here? x offset is what I want to say. And I have a y offset. And then I draw it to the same x offset and the y offset minus, um, and this is now the length of the line um, I'm drawing. I want to draw upwards, so I want to subtract something, let's say four. Four gives us, so I'm drawing a short line that is four pixels long at some x offset value and y offset value. So the question now is what is our x and y offset value? The x offset, I want to start on the left edge of my screen. So I make that uh, an instance variable here where I say private int x offset and we start that at zero. So I have the x offset at zero and I can just now use the x offset as it is and after plotting that I say x offset plus plus. So I just increment that afterwards. So I, I draw first at zero and the next, next time I will draw as um, at offset one and then at two and so on. And the y offset should somehow be derived from the value. So if the value is zero I want to draw here at the bottom of the screen. The coordinate system of the world has the origin, that is the zero, zero point, at the top left of the screen. So here is x value zero and y value zero. So this point here where I want to draw, start drawing if my value is zero, is actually an x value of zero, but the y value is the height of the world. Um, and then as I go up, if I want to be um, 50 points up from the bottom, it is the height of the world minus 50. So what I'm doing here is I'm saying uh, my y offset, I calculate as get height 
minus the value, not no no brackets. So, and that is a local variable here. So I take the height of the world, subtract the value that I just got in here that I want to plot, and I use that as my y value. Then I plot this. Um, let's see what that looks like. Oh no, I oh yes, I have called the method. I was just about to say I have to call this method as well. I have to write a comment say. Um, plot a single value by drawing on the world background. Let's see what that looks like. If we run this now, um, we see here there is now a curve developing. Um, it's being drawn on the background. It's drawn in white. Um, so here white seems to be the default painting color. Let's say I don't want that white, I want that black. Then I can go to my constructor here and I say I say get background dot set color color dot black. We can investigate the Greenfoot color class and you will see it has static constants for a number of colors. Black is one of them. So if I compile this now and I run that again, I can see that it's now drawing a graph and I can see how my infections go forward and backwards. Um, sorry, up and down. Um, at the moment, it goes, you know, the, the scale of the graph is, is almost random. So if it goes um, up actually by just a pixel, I can scale that. I could scale it up. I can scale it sideways. Let's say I want to scale up the, the Y value to um, make more use of my screen real estate that I have. And I want it to be able to scale it so that it goes a bit higher. I can um, have a constant here and say I have a private static final um, int scale y and I make that 4 so that my graph becomes 4 times as high as before I take this and where I plot my value I just say I take the value times my scale y. So if I scale it up and now look at this, um, that graph becomes, uh, yeah, so now it makes use of sort of my screen space a bit better. Maybe I should leave myself a little bit of space to the top. So let's say I scale it with a value of three instead. So here we now have a graph developing and we can see how our infections and our population at the beginning rise slowly but then quickly start to go steeper and steeper and steeper up until I get a very high curve. So at the time of writing this program I am in the UK but in many countries in the world the same in the US in, in many European countries um, we are at the part of the curve where we can see the number of infections in our countries from the coronavirus um, is, was rising quickly at first and is rising quite fast now. So we are somewhere here on the curve. Um, and we will see, um, I mean, this is of course not a, a realistic simulation, but the curve that we're here seeing is actually quite similar to what to what is actually expected. We will see the values rise again to some value and then it will level off um, and go down again at some point. But of course here, this area where we have this many infections um, is problematic. So we will look um, in future episodes whether we can do something to our population to keep the maximum of our um, infections down. Um, that is change the behavior of the population, that is the shape of the graph, to keep it lower. That is what in currently in the press, if you have been reading the news, 
is what is referred to as flattening the curve. What we're looking here, this graph is the curve. It is very steep, it is very high, and what we would actually like to see is something where this curve is somehow flatter, not as high, a bit more spread out. Um, and now we have a simulation that plots this graph for us and we can actually start investigating this. But this is enough for today. See you next time.